Most of y'all know me as David Wiggins on the course, the distance thrower, um, professional disc golfer. But uh, today we're going to talk about things that are important to me. Um, I guess where I grew up, my family, and other things I like to do off the course besides disc golf. Well, I was originally born in uh, Bakersfield, California. When I was uh, when I was two, I moved to North Carolina, and I was pretty much born and raised here in High Point. It's a great place. Um, North Carolina is is the place I love, the place I always want to be. It's got amazing disc golf. It's got amazing fishing. It's got pretty much everything I like to do. Um, my family's always been a really important part to me. Uh, my dad, Dave, my mom, Patty, and my sister, Katie, they've always been there for me. Um, I know a lot of time I'm gone or have been gone on the weekends, you know, growing up, going to disc golf tournaments. I really got to thank them all for being there and supporting me. I grew up playing Ocalo Disc Golf Course or Johnson Street Disc Golf Course, and it's always been an important place to me. It's where I started playing, it's where I've progressed through my game, and it's uh, still one of my favorite courses to play. I, I, I'm out there three, four times a week on uh, an average week when I'm in town, and um, I really love it, not just because of the course. I mean, it's a simple little pitch and putt course, but uh, just the memories I've made out there and the people that have helped me out there and the friends I've made. We're in my room right now, and we're probably only sitting a mile away from my course if you walk there. and. Um, when we moved here when I was two years old, my dad was just exploring around the neighborhood and found the course, so he started bringing me out there. So the reason I'm playing today is because of him, so I'll always be grateful to him for that. A couple of club members out there, um, they got us involved, started playing. A few of them to name are Dave Gilstrap, Brett Byerly, Tim Spurgeon. I definitely got to give those guys some credit because they kind of took us in and showed us the ropes and they got us going. And um, you know, my hometown and home course will always be a meaningful place because of those people. This, these are really cool. These are uh, Frisbee pie tins. I always thought these were awesome because, you know, this is how Frisbee started. And I guess that kind of led to disc golf and where I am today. Collecting is another thing I love to do um, in my spare time. And it's just fun to, you know, learn about disc golf history and collect the discs that, you know, made our sport what it is today. As you're going around, you can see some of my trophies. Definitely the PGA ones are some of the most important to me for points leaders. I got various discs all over the room, as you can tell it pretty much dominates my closet and most of the other space in my room. I think I have over a thousand discs somewhere in that area. I've been collecting since around 2004, 2005. One of my coolest uh, discs are these apples up here because uh, a few years ago somebody told me there was a disc called an apple. And I was like, what are you talking about? And uh, I got to find one of these things. That's the coolest name I've ever heard for a disc. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but I... Uh, I finally tracked a couple down and uh, I figured I'd throw them up on my walls. This is probably um, the coolest trophy I've ever gotten. It was from my wor first world championships. And as you can tell, it's hand carved and painted and everything. It says, loving life, you did it. I just, I just love it. All right, another thing I've been uh, pretty interested into lately is welding. I graduated high school and I, I plan on going to college later on, but I wanted to definitely take at least one year off to tour around and um, hit all the major tournaments. But I figured this winter I wouldn't have uh, much going on, and I decided to take a, a welding class at the community college because later on I want to go into marine engineering and um, figured this would be uh, a helpful skill to have. So I bought some welding equipment, and I'm taking a class. Here's one of the projects I got going on right now. It's a uh, little welding table I'll be using later as a work table. It's fun. It's something I like to do. It's uh, really hands-on, and I, I like hands-on stuff. I'm not... I'm not one to enjoy sitting in a classroom and reading long books, but I like getting my hands dirty and messing around and tinkering with stuff. All right, this right here is my baby. <laughs> it's a 1999 Ford F-250 Super Duty, 7.3 uh, liter turbo diesel engine. It has uh, definitely been one of my projects I've been working on for, I guess, over a year now. It, uh, it's gone through a lot, of, uh, a lot of modifications, as you can already tell. It's got a 10 inch lift on it, 38 inch tires. Um, I've had it painted. I've got bumpers and tailgates off of a 2008. Uh, the front end has a 2006 conversion. I used to take it off-roading, but I started breaking too much stuff and that got expensive. So I think I'm going to get rid of her here soon. Maybe find a little more tour friendly vehicle. We'll see. I love driving a diesel, so I don't know if that'll happen or not, but I had the paint job done last year. For all you truck fans out there, this has the best diesel engine ever made, the 7.3. <laughs> Truck has 500,000 miles on the body, I think. It's on the second engine, but the first motor got uh, 
380,000 miles. I love driving, it is fun. I don't think I could see myself riding around in a car anymore. <laughs> Under the hood, this is where this truck really shines. It's got the 7.3 liter turbo diesel engine. Probably my favorite diesel engine ever made. It's got a bunch of mods done to it. It's got a Banks wastegate, Banks air brake, uh, ARB front air locker, TS six position chip, cold air intake, Banks intercooler, HID headlights. It's got high amperage batteries for uh, the subs I have in the back of it. Right now we're standing in my shed. Um, this is where I pretty much keep all my fishing gear. Fishing's definitely been always an important thing to me. I, it's probably the closest thing I love to disc golf. I've always done it since I was little. My dad took me fishing just like he took me to play disc golf. I go play disc golf on the weekends and then go to a tournament and bring my fishing pole with me. Maybe after the round, I'll take a few casts or something like that. But after I'm done playing a big tournament like the World Championships or something like that, I make sure I take a few days off to you know, go to the coast or go to the lake and go fishing just to get my mind off everything. And I really use it as a break because I really enjoy it. And um, it's a lot more relaxing than disc golf, I definitely say, but it's something I've always loved to do and I'll continue doing it. I definitely plan on uh, keeping disc golf and fishing um, pretty much the main, uh, main aspects of what I use my free time for. I want to become a pretty much a marine engineer to work on boats and stuff like that but I also want to you know make sure I keep playing disc golf and playing tournaments because um, I'll never give up disc golf it's I, I love to do it just as much as fishing I can't really pick a favorite over the two right here's my bass fishing pole it's a uh, just a little Shimano combo got a little uh, crawfish Texas rigged on there I like going around to local ponds in my spare time and just seeing what I can pull out of there it's just my little tackle box here I pretty much Got something in here for about every fish I can run across. I don't really uh, pick a certain species I fish for, so I gotta come prepared for everything. I got my weight and my hook box. I got, got my jig box, plastic box, um, some more plastics, even more plastics. <laughs> I got spinner baits, crank baits, uh, about everything I need besides my uh, saltwater tackle. I like to bring this on me too when I go to tournaments, <laughs> just so I can uh, be prepared if I see a river or pond near the course that I can stop at just to spend a little time, especially while I'm on the road. Um, I, I can't be practicing you know, every single minute. I gotta find stuff to do while I'm out there. So yeah, that's something I'll uh, definitely do and bring on me with on tour. Hey, you see a bunch of fishing poles and you're probably like, there's no way he could possibly use all those. But I, I tell people it's like, it's like disc golf, you know, I carry 20 some discs in my bag. There's one for every situation. And, you know, I got fishing poles in here to catch a little tiny brim all the way up to a, up to a tuna. So uh, I use them all and uh, yeah, it's, it seems a little excessive, but uh, it's uh, years of collecting. And I'd have to say it probably rivals my disc golf collection. <laughs>